Madam President, I would like to thank the Special Rapporteur for providing such a comprehensive overview of state responsibilities to effectively criminalize and prosecute rape in accordance with the international standards. As an Egyptian feminist and a woman human rights defender, I'm deeply concerned at the situation in my country where preventing and addressing sexual and gender-based violence remains serious legal and social challenge. The legislative instrument protecting women from crimes of sexu uh, sexual violence is the Egyptian constitution, but the amended penal code is problematic in both nature and application. Rape in particular falls short of being clearly defined of including comprehensive range of non-consensual sexual acts. In the Egyptian context, patriarchal norms Patriarchal social norms coupled with deeply discriminatory state practices not only fail to deliver justice to survival, but further subject them to victimization and victim blaming. As a consequence, women are discouraged to report these crimes and immunity is rampant. To reserve this trend, it's crucial that Egyptian authorities start independent investigation on all past and present crimes of sexual violence, bring perpetrators to justice, provide survivors with medical, psychological, and legal support, in addition to rec recognize and acknowledge survivors of sexual violence. Madam Special Rapporteur, in light of this, which actions should the Human Rights Council undertake to ensure that states like Egypt bring their legislation in line with international standards and provide holistic framework for protection and support of survival.